welcome back. In this part of the series, we are going to be actually registering our user. Um, in this case, we well, previous to this, we have um, gone ahead and you know uh, validated our field, checked for required fields, checked uh, a few specifics, uh, and now we're at this stage. Now, in the last part, I uh, created this condition here. Just a quick note to point out, uh, it's actually wrong. Uh, here we've got if the if if the post data is is empty is empty and the errors are empty then register the user this here needs to be false that was a, just a mistake on my part so if the post data is um, full if it has data and the errors are empty then we can go ahead and actually register the user so um, uh, what do we want to do well we need to construct some kind of model that we need to pass through to a function and that function is going to be within users.php we're going to create a function called register user um, and we'll also need general.php open because we're going to be creating a function in there that sanitizes data within an array now it all sounds very complicated but as I show as I walk you through this it, it shouldn't actually be that hard so what do I mean by build up a model of data well I'm going to create an array um, and this is going to hold all of the user data and which fields that this needs to be placed into so I'm going to create a uh, variable called register data. I'm going to assign a, an array to this, uh, and I'm going to just pull this down a bit. Now I'm going to cre be creating an, an, an associative array, so the uh, label will be some text, and the result will be uh, sorry, the value will be um, sorry, not row dollar underscore post. It'll be some value that we get from our post data. So for example, the first one will be username, and we'll call this username so here print our register data will give us an idea of what our, our array here looks like I'm going to need to go ahead and just um, um, and just as a side note quickly um, you'll see here we've got some white space and if I go ahead and inspect that you can see that we've got our output errors function is outputting uh, an unordered list with nothing between this first li um, the reason being is that we've got an if statement saying uh, if the post data doesn't equal false, i.e. has some data been posted, um, and the errors are empty, then we can go ahead and register the user. Otherwise, output the errors. Now, what we actually need to do is we need to say else if empty errors equals um, false. So the errors array is not empty. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to, first of all, get rid of the white space. And second of all, it's basically just because um, we need that extra check in there just to make sure that the, the errors array isn't empty. Anyway, let's continue. So I've got, I'm going to print our registered uh, register data. Uh, so let's go ahead and just type in um, some registration data. I'm just making sure everything matches up. Again, it's a uh, you know, boring case of entering uh, any kind of data, really. Okay, so um, here you can see we've got array username equals Alex AA, which I just uh, typed into here. Um, so we've got this array now that contains the field name that we want to post to in the database and the value that we want to post to, and we can match this up a bit later. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of that print R. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and stick a comma in here and just replicate this for all of the fields that I want to actually insert. Now remember, we don't need to include password again in here because we are not pasting the password that the user repeated because it will be the same as the first one. So we want username, password, first name, last name, and email. Now the last name may not have been um, submitted by the user, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just substitute these, so password, Password, first name, first name, and as I said, the last name, even though it might may be blank, but that's fine. So it doesn't matter if it's not required. And then lastly, the email address. So let's just go ahead and tidy this up. I'll just uh, tab these along a bit. So it's a bit easier on the eye. So we have now all of these um, these values in our array 
and we want to go ahead and pass these to the register user function which we haven't created yet but will do in due course so we want to pass this data to register data uh, sorry we want to pass this data to the register user function um, and then after here we want to redirect which we'll deal with later and then exit just just in case uh, well there's no real reason it's just in case that a, a user's browser for some reason doesn't interpret uh, redirect properly okay we want to kill the script okay so um, what do we want to do well we need to go now and create the register user function so over to users.php we create a function called register underscore user and we know that this takes one parameter and that's the uh, the register data now inside of here I'm going to go ahead and print our register data uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and fill this form out properly now so we can actually start to refresh and deal with some real data uh, you know assuming a user would go ahead and enter this correctly so username uh, is Billy um, password is I'm just going to enter password password again first name Billy last name Garrett and email Billy at phpacademy.org so register there's the data that's being returned from the register user function now let's look at this data what do we actually need to do well, the first thing that we need to do is protect against or start to protect against SQL injection by sanitizing this now if you remember inside of general.php we have a sanitized function unfortunately we well we could use this on our array but we'd have to loop through each element of the array and apply this and then re-put it back into the array instead we can use something called array walk and what this will do is it will it will uh, walk through essentially um, or go through every element of the array and apply something to it and return that data if required so we're going to be creating a new function here in just a moment so it sounds confusing but it's not at all okay so the second thing we want to do is we want to uh, encrypt this password we're gonna uh, use the MD5 hash on it uh, again not entirely secure but we'll look at you know sorting that out uh, later on um, in another video and enforcing more security on our site so um, let's go ahead and first of all uh, encrypt this password um, with MD5 so within our um, register user uh, function what do we want to do well we essentially just want to reassign the value to this to this element of the array so we're going to say register underscore data and we're going to access password is equal to register underscore data password we want to wrap this the reassignment very uh, value within md5 now what's going to happen is when we refresh remember if you're following along don't hit enter here just actually refresh so you uh, uh, confirm your form resubmission you'll see now that the password has been converted to md5 perfect so we now have data as we'd want to place it in okay now let's focus on walking through this array uh, and actually sanitizing each element of the array without having to loop through and do anything too complicated so i'm going to use array walk and I'm going to uh, yeah, with, into this I'm going to uh, supply the register data which is an array now within single quotes I want to specify the function that uh, walks through this array now we haven't created this yet so we're going to have to create a, another function but essentially this function is just going to take in a value do something to it and return it back and place it within the array so I'm going to call this array sanitize so um, we're walking through the array with array sanitize let's create array sanitize quickly it's relatively straightforward few lines array sanitize now we're going to take a parameter in here but it's slightly different and because we want to return this value we're going to use the and symbol and then the variable name and in here we're going to uh, assign item which we've passed in here to mysql real escape string and then obviously the item so we're passing the item in we're reassigning the uh, the, va the item and then we are um, applying this to uh, the values within register data so every element in register data now gets this mysql uh, real escape string uh, applied to it 
So uh, let's go ahead and check out the results. So um, it won't look much different at all. But if, for example, we, we were to, uh, I won't demonstrate because I'm going to have to fill the form out again, uh, pass any illegal characters in, they would be escaped, ready to be placed into a query. So now we actually need to construct our registration query. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get print oh, I'm not going to need that anymore. I'm going to create two variables. One's going to be called fields and one's going to be called data. And we're going to make use of the implode, um, implode function to uh, essentially just group all these together. Like we did here for the fields that we placed within the users table, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So here I'm going to implode. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to implode by something, and I'm going to. What do I want to implode? We'll register data, and I'm going to um, concatenate on uh, a, a back tick, so not a single quotation mark, a back tick, and I'm going to do that for either side. And then within here, I've got a back tick, comma, and then a back tick. So the output we're going to get from this now is I'll just uh, I'll say echo fields is a string fields will now be a string and that will look much like this we've got Billy in single quotes a password in single quotes oh, sorry um, I've done it the completely wrong way around this here will be data so echo data because remember data when we're inserting a query goes within back ticked uh, back tick so fields now equals nothing uh, so this is our data so the, the username is Billy the password is MT5 first name last name email blah 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 um, now we want to do the fields so let's get rid of this echo here fields equals again implode uh, we want to implode by something we want to implode registered data but because we've passed through the an associative array, the um, element names are the field that we want to give. So we again need to um, uh, place, I'm going to place single quotes, which means I have to escape that character. I'm going to place a single quote here, escape that. And I'm going to place a single quote here with a comma, and then just one single quote. So you, you'll see how this looks on the output, and these this escaping will make a lot more sense. But now, if I was to go ahead and echo fields, um, in actual fact, we're not echoing the fields that we want to uh, write to. Uh, and eventually, our query is going to look something like this. So insert into uh, users. Um, and then in here will be the field names. So the field names will look like username, uh, sorry, username password blah 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 and then it will be values and then values will go like this with single quotes Alex uh, MD5 hash okay so that's what it needs to look like so here we don't need the, um, the oh, I've done it the wrong way around again okay so uh, let's just change, change this around so fields and data now remember our fields are surrounded by back ticks. Our data is surrounded by single quotes. So echoing out the um, data here, uh, sorry, the fields here, currently looks like this, single quotes. What we want to do is instead of outputting the data, output the actual field names. So how do we go about this? Well, we use the array keys uh, just around this register data here. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us the uh, keys of the array that we passed through. And these relate to these here. So that was a bit of a, uh, a faff. Uh, we've got fields that are surrounded by single uh, back ticks, which are the field names, and the data which are surrounded by single quotes, which is the data we're actually inserting. So that's how we end up with it and that's definitely correct so now what we're going to do is actually going to uh, query the database and actually create this user so I'm going to use uh, the MySQL query function and within here um, is going to go the query so um, uh, we are going to leave it there because we've you know gone over a bit of time um, in the next part we're going to actually look at inserting the data and actually registering this user and then essentially we're going to have a system set up where we can register log in, 
log out, another user can register, someone else can register somewhere else, and it's going to be working. So uh, in the next part, we'll uh, we'll do that.